Hey guys, welcome back. I'm out here. Look at all the space I have behind me. Nice, flat, smooth surface. I've pretty much upgraded my HPI Firestorm 10T Flux to uh, as fast as I can get it to possibly go. We have a Traxxas 3 cell 5000 milliamp lipo battery in here. I also installed a larger pinion. We're going to be using this dynamite speed meter to do a top speed run if the conditions here permit me doing so. I've also put in some of these Traxxas Anaconda tires from a Traxxas Jado. These should do just fine to handle the top speed runs we're going to do right now. The only limitation on this chassis right now is the fact that I could not fit a larger pinion. Uh, the motor plate has to be drilled out a little bit here to adjust for a larger pinion. I have one that is nearly twice this size, so at this point I predict this might possibly do maybe a little bit over 40. Only a test will tell, let's see how it does. Okay guys, here we go. I only hit 40 miles an hour, but I gotta say this thing topped out at speed really quick and it was really controllable. I can tell that I am being held back by this, you know, relatively small pinion for the size of this spur gear. So I could either put in a smaller spur gear or get a much larger pinion. You could see here that the motor screws are pretty much almost all the way to the left. There's absolutely no space to put in a larger pinion. That's a prop. Okay guys, so now that I came home after the run, you know, it was a little underwhelming. I really only hit about 42. I know that I showed that I hit 40, but I was able to get 42 out of this. There are just a lot of limitations here right now, mainly the gearing. I'm not really quite sure what the stock gearing is. I'm gonna do some research on that, but I gotta drill out the motor plate here in the back to just put in a much larger pinion gear. I do have one that is, you know, just pretty much enormous. And usually these things, when they claim the top speed that HPI claimed, which was, I think, 77 miles per hour, you know, that means it's extremely overgeared. Um, after checking my uh, temperatures on the battery, the ESC and the motor, the motor was not even warm. So this thing could handle a lot more power. It could handle a lot more, you know, speed out of this actual chassis. The top of the ESC, there's no cooling fan, but it wasn't even hot. Like not, forget hot, it wasn't even warm. In terms of voltage, I'm pretty much uh, at where the max for this ESC is. The only thing I can do here is increase the gearing size uh, to run a larger pinion and maybe a combination of a smaller spur gear. In terms of control, you know what? It handled really good at the top speed that I was able to get it to go. It steered pretty well, even though this front uh, camber caster and tow the it's completely like crooked. It's very lopsided. I gotta adjust pretty much all these adjustable turnbuckles. Other than that, you know what? The steering was good. It didn't flip a single time, not even a single time, no flips at all. You know, if you've driven a lot of these Chinese RCs, you would know that flipping is a major issue there. But you know, with this type of pan chassis handles the speeds really well. It has a smooth surface on the bottom. Uh, not really a lot of lifting from the front here. It's pretty well balanced and weighed down, I gotta say, surprising. So stay tuned. This project is gonna be able to hit, I hope, maybe 60 or more. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching once again, till next time.